Hello and welcome to this 101 lab. In this lab, we'll be looking at credential harvesting using a method called site cloning. Credential harvesting is the process of gathering sensitive information on a target, such as credit card details or passwords, without them knowing that this information is being captured. We'll use a tool called SET or the Social Engineering Toolkit to achieve this. So let's begin. So the first step is to boot up your virtual machine with Kali Linux and get it up and running. Once this is complete, you can open a terminal and start the social engineering toolkit by typing sudo set toolkit. So let's do that. You'll be presented with the following screen. So the credential harvesting attack is a type of social engineering attack. So we will choose one from this menu. We'll be presented with a number of options and it is a website attack vector that we will be doing today. So we'll press two and enter. As you can see here, the credential harvester attack method is down as number three. So we will choose three and hit enter. Now this is asking us whether we want to use a web template, clone a real site or do a custom version of our own site. But uh, for this purpose, we'll be choosing two, which is site cloner. So these steps here will walk you through what I've just done. Basically just entering numbers and hitting enter based on the attack that we want to run. Set will now ask us for the IP address so that it can send the post requests from the site we're going to clone back to our machine. For the purpose of this lab, we'll be entering our Kali machine's local IP address, which can be found by doing the following. So if we go back to the terminal, file, new tab, and type in if config and hit enter. This will be our local IP address. So we can copy this by going Control Shift C, going back to the set terminal, and then entering Control Shift V. You can also see that the local IP address is here. Hit enter. And now set is asking us for the URL of the site that we want to clone. For this lab, we'll be cloning Facebook. Okay, perfect. So the attack is now up and running and the site has been cloned. As soon as you see this, it means it's correct. So this is waiting for us to send some post information to the site so that it can show us the information down here. So to access the site, we need to open Firefox. And enter in our local IP address that we just copied. Now you can see the cloned Facebook site. You know this isn't the real Facebook site because obviously it's our local IP address up here. So we can go ahead and enter in a fake email and password. Hit enter. Perfect. And as you can see, it will redirect the user to the real Facebook login page so the user doesn't know that they've just given away their email and password. So if we return to the set screen, you'll see loads of uh, text like this. This is just sending us all the post requests that came from the clone site we were just on. And as you can see here, we've captured the entered username and password in clear text. Hello at example.com and password123.